How's it going, guys and girls? Welcome to this very, very quick, simple, to the point tutorial where I'm going to teach you how you can survive the storms in Icarus when you are not yet level 10. So you're, you're, this is beginning game stuff, like you've just landed, you know, you, you've got yourself a pickaxe. I'm assuming you've got yourself a pickaxe and an axe and you've gone and you're chopping trees down, but you can't actually build yourself a base yet. All right, now this is a really nifty trick that we figured out today. Obviously, this beta weekend number two is all about storms. So this should be super useful. If you find it useful, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. This is a specifically Icarus-based guide channel. Uh, so don't forget to subscribe to the channel. But anyway, I'm going to get straight to it. So I'm assuming that you have a pickaxe. If you don't, then you need to make a pickaxe. All right, they're very easy to make. You learn them in the tech tree. Uh, right at the beginning, you've, you've got access to those. And then crafting-wise, you only need uh, two fiber, four sticks, and six stones. So you can go and pick all those up from there. Oh, my God, is that a baby? Oh, it's your go. This game looks so beautiful, by the way. Anyway, um, anyway, I digress. So as you know, with a pickaxe, you can chop rocks, right? With an with a axe, you chop trees. Pickaxe, you chop rocks. So what you want to do is head over to the biggest rock you can find. This is like probably one of the coolest things I've figured out about this game so far. Go to the biggest rock you can find and just start chopping away at the bottom, okay? You're going to chop away at the bottom like this. And as you can see, you actually start to make yourself a little hole. Now, obviously, if you aim at the bottom all the time, especially if you crouch, you can eventually make yourself a little cave. Now, the amazing thing about this as well is if you find a big enough rock so you can see this this starts to uh to eat away into it i'll show you the one that i made that i sheltered from the last storm in uh if i can find it oh no where's my rock oh it's over here don't panic don't panic don't panic don't panic i found it so this is the one that i made uh last time i actually started chopping away a little bit too much so i have got a little hole in the roof there tiny little rock but this is my shelter, and you can fully shelter inside it. So now I'm fully sheltered in here, but also you can sleep. You can put a bed in there as well. So you can actually put your bedroll down. As you know, your bedrolls need shelter to be able to function properly for you to be able to sleep through the night. So there you go. You put your bedroll inside a rock, and that is a good enough shelter, guys, to keep you safe. So as you can see, here we are in the storm, and I'm currently taking damage because of storm exposure. It says no shelter. And then when we go inside my lovely little cave, you can see storm exposure goes down, and we are sheltered away. I love this so much. Such a cool little trick, guys. If you enjoy it as well, if you find it useful, thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, of course, let me know underneath. And if you want to come and hang out live while we're playing Icarus Live for these beta weekends, then my gaming channel is Calamex Games. I'll leave a link for that down in the description. Come and hang out there and uh, let me know how you get on or if you've got your own tips and tricks. So yeah, take care of yourselves. Enjoy Icarus. And don't don't die on, on the planet, guys. It's quite, it's quite a difficult one, this one. <laughs>